When it comes to bloodborne pathogens, there are many best practices that you can start to implement into your workflow to prevent any bloodborne pathogen risks. Here are some workplace controls that you can start implementing to prevent the risks right now. Use sterile, one-time use, fully disposable tools. Ensure that your tools have a sterilization certificate. Use barrier wrap on anything that you may touch during a procedure. Ensure that your sharps container is close by while you're working. Make sure that you have medical grade disinfecting agents nearby. Implement strict hand hygiene protocols. Use universal personal protective equipment during every procedure. This includes gloves, masks, and gowns. Ensure that you are changing these before every procedure. Here are some other things that you will want to consider for good bloodborne pathogen standards. Obtain your own baseline health assessment. Artists should be aware of their own baseline health status. Ensure that you have all required immunizations. Ensure that you are immunized for Hep A, Hep B, and tetanus. For follow-up, ensure that you are having your local health department inspect your workplace annually to ensure that you are strictly following the tattoo and personal services guidelines. The Red Cross offers thorough training for anyone that is exposed to blood or bodily fluids during the performance of their work. You can find out more information on the Red Cross's training in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. For more information on bloodborne pathogens, you can check out our blog listed in the description box below. We'll see you next time.